Having the positioning, say like for example, jab, mm -hmm. having the blocking, blocking uh -huh. the the temple, okay, and keeping your your elbow uh -huh. in, so showing techniques like that. So just have one position, so you know what how background to do this is that here? from? Because I know in boxing they teach this, but a lot of boxers get caught in MMA. And, and Muay, Muay yeah. is more of a Muay Thai, because Muay Thai okay. is like the it's and you got it's the more covered so it's more covered up so yeah uh -huh. so you always got to be avoiding the, the the head kicks and stuff yeah. like that but also keeping your elbow in too so you won't get kicked in the on the side robert what's the position so, you uh you start your elbows in because i know you got some crazy elbows and it looks like your arms are almost out there breathing yeah, a little so bit you don't start with them in here can you show everybody that please? so from here you can come an elbow across nice so one straight straight across like a, a, a horizontal, horizontal and then there's one coming down oh awesome right nice. and then there's one coming forward uh -huh. you know and what's another one and then uh, here foam and as you do this you take a step forward nice. into so you're it stepping you know? with the front yeah. foot the rear with foot the stays foot. in the same position the right. front foot steps in yeah. and then steps back out right nice. and you can't really see the the footing here obviously if it um, you're on Muay Thai. You're you're ten. You're having a heavy leg, and your front leg is more lighter uh -huh. on your feet. You know, so so your 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 back leg is ready to. Dude, it's a trip. I haven't uh -huh. haven't taught in a minute, so this is good. It's so, interesting you say that because that is the classical Muay Thai stance. Right. You've all, almost sometimes they, they hang out with their knee up high. Right. Like so you this. always want to be protected. So that's why you're heavier. You're a heavy leg on the back leg. On the rear leg. You're right. Sitting all and your then, weight and on the, the rear top leg, really. and yeah. the front leg. You're you're on the ball of your feet, you know. So they're very relaxed in its movement. Versus a boxer, you're constantly like going back. It's more springy. Muay Thai, they're heavy. They're heavy. Their their stance is heavy and they're protected, you know. So they and they're can not bobbing take... and weaving as much, right? You no. rarely like maybe yeah. once or twice in a Muay Thai match you'll see them no. roll under a punch, but most of the time they're keeping. No, running. most of the time they're taking it and then just following right back. I don't know they're if you guys at home just saw Kamar Usman, one of the greatest of all time who has a boxing background, went up against Leon Edwards, and he fell for that thing that um, uh, TJ Dillashaw does and a lot of really good fighters do. They throw that one, two, three, and then they they follow up. It looks like they're throwing a hook, but instead they follow up with a kick. Oh, Uz psych him out. Uzman, yeah, Usman rolled under, thinking it was a punch. Yeah. It was a kick, and he ate that head kick. Right. And, um, you know, he's so pissed now. He's like, I made a mistake, but it's like, I have the same problem. Every time I spar a Muay Thai guy, I get kicked in the back because I'm too sideways. I've got the boxing background. If you've got a boxing background, it's very easy to kind of get rid of it and go into that Muay Thai stance, which is much more forward. The hands right. are much higher and, and, and your, your weight. Your leg yeah. is, your front leg is ready to block. No doubt. You because know, the boxer tends to be more on the side, so that's why they get yep. kicked and the shit kicked out of their, right. front, uh, their front leg. That's why the Muay Thai guys, they tend to be with their uh, forward, uh, with their front foot forward, so they can be ready to be like blocking up or to the side. But if you're here, mm -hmm. it you you're too much. It's too much energy to like to get that uh, to turn and block that. Be Benny kick. the Jet. There were a few people who could do it out of the bladed position, and I can't do that though. Who could stay very sideways and still check the kicks? But yeah. not a lot of people can do that. It's much easier if you're 45. But you're already there. Or, or already, yeah. you know, all you have to do is lift them up right. in that position, and much the, easier. The, um, the negative side of things if for a boxer would, to get with the uh, Muay Thai guys with their front here and they have they can get them with the uppercut so that's yeah. that's that's the thing they, they they with boxers it's easier to avoid that but with the Muay Thai guy when they have when they have that stance right there uh, if a good boxer can come in and do the uppercuts and they get they usually get hit a lot if Muay Thai guys don't know how to evade from a good boxer they'll get hit with the uppercut a lot from what i've seen mm. you know so it's it's so hard to land against a good boxer or rear uppercut i think i've actually landed one in sparring in 20 years i was working on it so much with my coach we weren't just slipping to the side we were dipping and going in and throwing uppercuts and i was such an idiot at the time this was at a, a gym in boston i didn't know how to spar i literally thought sparring meant you tried to kill the guy and I was yeah. in there with this kid who was a pro fighter who was very nice to me. He probably could have knocked me out. And the first move, he threw a jab. He probably thought he was yeah. going to do like light controlled uh -huh. sparring. I came in there, I dipped forward, and I ripped so right. hard that uppercut that it's literally there's still blood on the ceiling. And he was like, I'm sure he could have knocked me out. He was just being nice to me, like, who's this idiot kid? So whoever that guy is over uh -huh. at Y Crew, thank you for not knocking me out, for, for being an arrogant asshole. But other than that, I don't think I've even ever landed a rear uppercut in sparring. They're hard to land. They're hard it, to it, land. It depends who 
people you're getting a lot of people who cover up and they, uh -huh. they know they're covering up you can pepper them with jabs and then see the opening and then come in with the uppercut you nice. know it depends on the type of uh, style you're going I, against i've i've gotten lucky with the shovel hook that's my shot that's my go-to ko shot I, I i can jab and then shovel hook or pull a bunch of head fangs or you know kind of like step with the punches and then pull a shovel hook but that's that's been yeah. my lucky punch my thing is low kicks nice. so for example like boxers they tend to go with the jab so i see the mm -hmm. little show I, if, so yeah, so it's here, boom. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So like, if nice. you if you see a repetition that uh -huh. they're doing that movement uh -huh. and it's becoming obvious, uh -huh. then yeah, as soon as you see uh -huh. that, boom, at the same time. Nice. You know, so boom, and you can also throw this hand out to block with that jab, boom, boom. Nice. Yeah. Big break. <laughs>